here in Qatar, so we gotta get a transfer to the next flight to Norway. Check this out, guys. It's a huge airport. That's my uh, favorite plane, guys. The uh, Boeing Dreamliner. It's so smooth. It's very spacious. Awesome to fly. You know, you're in Norway or Iceland when you see trolls and flags with a uh, Christian cross in it. But also, don't buy anything in this airport. It is the most expensive airport in the world. All right, one more flight that we're in Iceland. We are looking for Reykjavik. There you are. D10. And this is pretty wild, guys. There's nobody wearing a mask here. Complete change of scenery. No mask here. Here we go, guys. Nice land air. Oh my god, guys. 12 degrees. Four flights later. 30, 40 hours dirty. We made it, guys. It's pretty cold, 12 degrees. See you guys later. Good morning, it's the day after. And uh, yeah, just met my family, very nice time. I want to keep it private, we gotta respect that. But it's absolutely freezing here, 10 degrees Celsius. And also one of the first things you notice when you're here in Scandinavia or in Iceland, it is so quiet. It is extremely quiet. It's just, it's a weird feeling. Except that dog. <laughs> so what Iceland does quite a bit is that they make a law out of pretty much everything. And as the world is uh, changing into electricity, they made a law. If you live in a compound like this, this is my apartment over there. They made a law that if one person in this compound wants to have an electric charge, where the car park is, the whole compound has to agree to it. <laughs> so about two years ago, I got an email from the compound saying, I have to pay about, I don't know, was it $4,000 to invest in a charging station. So while I was in Philippines, I said, no, I don't wanna invest in that. Uh, it's not gonna benefit me, but I still had to pay it because there was a lot. So now, in pretty much every single car park in the country, in the city, there's charging stations for electric cars. I mean, it's the future, has to be done. And uh, one of the reasons I came to Iceland is actually to visit my apartment, which is gonna be going to a sale uh, in probably in the next week. Because my apartment. It's about 80 square meter, massive bedroom, laundry place, CR. Living area, kitchen, very basic with a nice view. I think I lived in this apartment for six months over the last 12 years. <laughs> Yeah, going for sale now. There you can see one guy is charging. So hopefully Sherilyn's gonna be here in a couple of days, but in the meanwhile, I gotta do a lot of paperwork type of stuff. <laughs> this is my documents for my apartment that I gotta bring to the sales agent. Then I was going through some of my old stuff and uh, this is such an old book here. <laughs> Math stuff, <laughs> lots of math, engineering. <laughs> That's the uh, picture of my mom and me. My graduation, 2003 from my high school. What's up, Finn? Thank you for Flato, my school. Gigi, <laughs> and Ample, and all the 
playing memories and all the LAN memories. LAN is like uh, we used to connect computers together and play video games when we were kids. Some old pictures. Oh, that's me. Maybe 10 years old. Always at birthdays, pizza. And always fishing, fishing, fishing. Riding a horse. And of course, fishing. I played a lot of sports, of course, the medals. Reykjavik Technical College. So just like uh, Sherlin is applying for visa, I had to do the same thing when I was uh, uh, applying for New Zealand. So like the immigration process of getting into a, a university or college in New Zealand is very difficult. <laughs> this is my old CV, it's so funny. Computer knowledge, I know Photoshop. And I used to like to draw a lot, so uh, pretty decent and some artwork. And for this trip, we definitely need some warm clothes. And of course, I'll be bringing my favorite Icelandic traditional clothing, the wool sweater. These are the same glasses that I used in New Zealand for almost two years. And um, you could probably compare them to the 60 pesos glasses I have in Philippines, but I still have them. I hiked so many mountains and climbed so many valleys with these ones. <laughs> I didn't know I still had them. Yes, you can go. <laughs> She's using the sidewalk. That's awesome. I've never ever seen that. A cat that was used in the uh, walkway. <laughs> I stopped for it and he walked over. So, it's cleaned, ready to go, ready for sale. We have a photographer coming here tomorrow to take some photos and then it goes into a open house and advertisement, but I just got a guy that does it all for me. <clears throat> this is how I made my success. Early investment at a young age, and uh, now I'm able to sell it for about five times, almost five times more than I bought it for. This is just crazy, in about 11 years, almost five times more. And uh, yeah, I'm growing a bit of a beard, gonna do like a Viking look when I'm here in Iceland. But yeah guys, uh, this is my Icelandic apartment. The real estate is so ridiculous here, so crazy that you wouldn't believe. Nice master bedroom. And it's only 72 square meters. And the money that they're gonna put on it just is mind boggling. So with that money, I'll be able to expand my life. I do different things. I'll be bringing a lot of it back to the Philippines and that's uh, there and you know, help out the country, start a business take some risks, but I'm still young, so I think it's a perfect time for that. Thanks to this apartment. And of course, we continue the YouTube because that's my passion. And uh, even though it doesn't <laughs> give me what this is about to give me in terms of finance, it still is there, you know, it's, um, it's a little bit emotional because this might be the very last time I'm inside my apartment, my first apartment. Hey, someone made it to Iceland finally. After crazy visa problems, we made it in the end. We had to cancel like four flights, a lot of refunds, a lot of vouchers, but we, we made learn. it. And we learned, yeah, good point. So when the next time we do any sort of visa, we know exactly what to do. We always learn something new and it keeps updating. So even if you do a visa three years ago, it's going to be different this time around. Yep, because of the pre-pandemic. Okay, so just a quick update here. You saw what I've been doing in the video. The main reason I left Philippines was obviously in one, two, three is meet my family. It's been over three years since that was. And then the uh, second thing is taking care of some paperwork stuff. I'm selling my apartment, 
that's uh, how I'm able to do the investments that you guys have been seeing on the channel lately. So it's all planned out. We'll have uh, will be very stable even after all of the investments and the projects that we're gonna go on. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm very lucky about my decisions ten years ago, no, twelve years ago, and now that's the reward I'm getting out of that. Things don't. The green paper doesn't grow on the trees here, by the way. So it's it's uh, <laughs> it's all hard work. That's how life works, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be able to uh, take things to the next level. And I always said, if I ever wanted to work and earn in the Philippines, it has to be something that... He loves. Well, of course, I was going to say, that can uh, contribute to the country. I don't want to be doing something that just uh, is profit, profit. I want to contribute to the country. And tourism is the best way to do it, bringing in... Uh, foreigners into the country to help with the economy, with uh, creating jobs. So I think that's a perfect type of business that I'll be doing in the future. And now we're finally able to um, find the right one we are ready to uh, invest in. So uh, super stoked. Hopefully we sell the apartment in the coming days. It's now up for sale. And uh, yeah, there's been some interest. So in the next one, we're going to start an epic road trip around the country. Last time around we were here, we had to leave earlier and we only managed to do about one third of the way around the country. So we'll be going the full circle now. We revisit some of the locations and skip a lot. And then it's all full uh, new places. So I'm very stoked about that. Even some locations I've never been to. So it's going to be exploring for the first time for me as well. And also you're allergic. Oh my God. You can maybe hear it now, but one of the reasons I love living in the Philippines, I don't have any allergy here in Iceland. I get allergy in the summertime all season and it's horrendous. I can't be outside. I'm sneezing, coughing, itchy in my throat. It's terrible. So, um, Life for me in the Iceland is, it, it sucks. I, I, if I'm here, it's just work. Yes, it's good salary, but it's winter time. It's dark all year round. And then I can't even be outside in the best time in summer. So for me, living in the Philippines is by far the best. But anyways, <laughs> it's enough talk. We're about to go on an epic road trip uh, around the country. And I'll see you in the next one on the road, in a new house, the Jeepney. You'll see that soon. Yeah. What's it like so guys? Peace out. We forgot to mention, when are we back in the Philippines? Soon. Okay, soon. <laughs>